What's going on guys on the XL channel? My name is XL Danza and I am one of the new recruits for XL. I am a content creator, just to let you know, just in case you didn't know who I was and basically what I do, I just make commentaries, so cut comms, live comms, all sorts of different commentaries on my channel and well, I am, I have the honour of um, making a cut com on this channel now. I believe this is like the first cut com I've seen on this channel, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna be making a cut com. I'm gonna be talking about a life story. That's something I do on my channel. I do a lot of life stories. But before we get into it, let's trade some crypto keys and let's see what we can get in a supply. Oh and we get a legendary and a rare. Not bad. Not bad. We're gonna equip that as our emblem because that is sexy. And that firebrand is pretty darn nice. So we're going to go into a match of Chaos Mosh Pit because it's my favourite game mode to play. Just to warn you guys, I'm pretty bad at this game. So please, just prepare yourselves for some absolute humiliation. For me being humiliated, obviously. But yeah, so this life story is the time I almost died. It's my near-death experience. My near-death experience was a pretty scary one for me because at the time I was very young. So it all started in a galaxy far, far away. No, not quite. It was it well, it was far away, but it wasn't quite in another galaxy. But yeah, it was it was like six hours away from where I am right now. So that doesn't really matter. Just that's a bit of a you know irrelevant fact, but I thought I'd state it anyway. Basically, what happened was we were visiting our friends. We were on holiday. We were staying at our friends' house, and we were visiting other friends we haven't seen we hadn't seen in a while. And uh, basically, they like live on like some sort of farm place. Somewhere like pretty, feel, kind of felt like the middle of nowhere, and they live there. And uh, so we went there for the day, and on our way there, like we literally had only been in the car for five minutes, and our car decided to uh, display a an interesting light on like the little um, screen sort of thing, I guess you can call it. But I'm not too sure what it's called. But yeah, it displayed a different like a little warning light, and um, it was basically saying that our car. There's, there was something wrong with our car, like our car, uh, our electrics were, were you know, faulty and uh, they just weren't working very well. So, yeah, basically it was just showing us this message and my my mum called my her, her dad, so my granddad, and asked what was wrong with it, yeah, what we should do, and then she said just take it to the mechanic and uh, he'll get th they'll get that fixed. Wow, oh my word, and they'll get that fixed. So, we we're on our way and we. T stop off at a place called Quick Fit. If you don't know what Quick Fit is, it's basically just like a garage, pretty much, place. And uh, we're hoping to get our car fixed. I'll put that in quotations. You can't see me, but I'll put that in quotations. Fixed. Yeah, and then, basically, we went there to get it fixed, and then they told us that um, there was something wrong with our battery. So we ended up, you know, spending 100 odd quid on a, a new battery when we didn't actually need one. So, yeah. So we went and bought a new battery for the car, and then we were on our way to the place where we were about, well, to our friends' like house or farm. And yeah, so basically, we went to our friends' house, and then we had a good time there at the farm. And um, after that, we were on our, and then of course, it was quite late, so we were going on our, so we were headed back home, and uh, well, we must have been like maybe 30 minutes into the journey, and it was pitch black at this time, it was very late, so it was like pitch black at this time. And uh, so we couldn't really see anything. There wasn't any street lights on this motorway that we were on, or well, really, it's not exactly a mo. It was like yeah, it was a mo. It's kind of like a small little motorway or a highway if you're from the USA. And uh, yeah, we were just driving down there, and then our electrics turned off. Yeah, as I said earlier in this video, that our it was actually something wrong with our electrics, and our electrics turned off. So there was no lights at all, but we could still drive, obviously. But there was no lights at all displaying, so we couldn't actually see a thing. We were literally blind. So we were blind in the middle of this motorway, couldn't be seen anywhere, and uh, we, we were literally, basically, near, near, could be killed because, you know, there's if there's an ongoing car, they won't be able to see us because our lights are not on. They would not be able to see us, so we could easily get crashed into. And thankfully, my dad um, was the one who suggested, right, let's just keep on driving, find somewhere to, you know, pull over at. And uh, we did that, so we found somewhere to pull over, we pulled over, because obviously if we stayed there, then we would have easily been hit, and could have, of course, that could have been fatal. So, we pull pulled over, and uh, we had to call the um, RAF, RAF? Yeah, definitely had to call the RAF, the Royal Air Force, <laughs> definitely had to call them. No, we had to call the RAC, which is like a uh, service when uh, your car breaks down, we called them, and then, oh, get wrecked, mate. 
get absolutely smegged. So yeah, we called them and of course we waited and then oh, there was our car freezing cold because there was no heating because the electrics were broken and stuff so we weren't getting warmth or anything like that. We couldn't see a thing so we decided, you know what, why don't we just wait outside and, uh, you know, chill out in the breeze. And then uh, we saw some wild rabbits, that was pretty cool, but that's not part of the story. But yeah, we called the REC, the REC come, well, at least I think it was the REC. But yeah, they came and picked, pick, it was some sort of breakdown service, and they picked us up, and uh, we they took us home in their little trucks. And uh, yeah, so we just com got completely ripped off by this company called QuickFit. Yeah, I'm going to expose them, they're called QuickFit, and uh, we got completely ripped off by them. They said it was a new battery, it was electricals. And, uh, you know, they just completely ripped us off of 100 quid. So that was pretty bad. Oh, my days. Oh, my word. What was that? That was just worse than Call of Duty Ghosts. Bloody hell. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. They took us home. It was very late. So it was like 1 o'clock when we got back to the place we were staying. And, yeah, that kind of sucked. So, yeah, that was my near-death experience. Experienced? Experience. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like on the video. Uh, please do subscribe to me. My link will be in the description below. But subscribe to XL. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. The links will all be in the description below. And uh, yeah, comment as well. Your near death experience. Quite interested to hear if you've had any near death experience. But yeah, guys, it's been me, XL Danzar. I was very. Um, it was been an honour. And uh, well, I'm out.